Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Army, Air Force and Navy have a combined requirement of around 500 light helicopters. HL is expecting a combined order from Army and Air Force for 187 light helicopters which include 126 for Indian Army and 61 for Air Force. As the total technical life of older Chetak and Cheetah starts ending in 2023, Indian Army is looking for two options for their replacement. The first one is indigenously developed HLs LUH and the second one is Ka 226T developed by Russia. Recently, we have seen that LUH has proven its capabilities in multiple rounds of trials in extreme conditions in northern sector. It has been undergoing trials from last three years, flying sorties between lay forward airfields like Dorat Bek Oldi and even super high altitude helipads at Siachen Glacier. The LUH has already achieved the initial operational clearance IOC back in February 2021 and the FOC is expected soon as its trials are complete. DAC has approved the 12 limited series production variant of LUH. At the same time, Indian Army wants acquisition of Ka 226T light helicopters to be fast-tracked. In October 2016, India and Russia finalized a broad agreement for joint venture between Hindustan Aeronautical Limited and two Russian defense majors for production of helicopters in India. Under the joint venture, 200 Kamov 226T helicopters will be produced. Of these, 60 will be supplied to India in fly-away condition while 140 choppers will be manufactured in India under a 1 billion US dollar deal. The Kamovka 2260 has 72% Russian components and 28% from various Western countries. The helicopter to be produced in India will have around 70% Indian origin components out of 72% Russian indigenization. Overall, the percentage of Indian origin component in the chopper will be around 40%. The joint venture has already sent a detailed proposal to the government on the production and has already finalized an agreement specifying work schedule and techno-commercial issues. A final decision on the order will have to be cleared by Defense Acquisition Council, the highest decision-making body of Defense Ministry on Procurement. Now the question is that when India has an indigenous capability for LUH, why it should procure Ka-2260 from Russia? Is Ka-2260 more capable than LUH? Our today's discussion will be around these points, so let's get started. Ka-2260 is powered by two turbomaker Arias 2G1 engine, each capable of generating power of 580 horsepower. LUH is powered by one HL Turbo Mega Shakti 1U Turbo Shaft engine capable of generating shaft power of 1070 shp. The combined power generation of Ka 2260 is slightly higher than LUH. The Ka 2260 makes use of dual engine which provides it redundancy in case of any engine failure and improves the survivability. In terms of engine power and survivability, Ka 2260 has the advantage over the LUH. Coaxial rotors or coax rotors are pair of helicopter rotors mounted one above the other on concentric shaft. The same axis of rotation but turning in opposite directions. The helicopters using this type of rotor do not feature tail rotors. Ka 226 t has coaxial rotors which gives it some edge over LUH. The coaxial rotors has advantages of increased payload for same engine power, reduced noise, more compact, smaller footprint on the ground and more stable. While all sound perfect, there are some disadvantages of this technology as well. As the coaxial rotors need to have a pair of rotors, the linkages and swash plates for two rotor systems need to be assembled atop the mast which is more complex because of the need to drive two rotors in opposite directions. The number of moving parts is much more in coaxial rotors adding to its complexity and they are more prone to mechanical failures and possible faults. The coaxial helicopters are also more prone to whipping off the blades and blade self-collision. In summary, 
Car 2260 has advantage of higher payload and small footprint due to coaxial rotors. The LUH rotors with tail rotor will be more reliable and less prone to mechanical faults. The car 2260 also has a unique detachable mission compartment instead of a conventional cabin. This allows helicopter to be adapted for different roles such as surveillance and cargo delivery. The detachable cabin module is unique to many Kamu helicopters and the car 2260 perfects this design and offers a lot of flexibility in operations. The module can be removed or attached in only 2 hours. Car 2260 has a maximum takeoff weight of 3600 kg, maximum external payload of 1300 kg and maximum internal payload of 1000 kg. LUH has maximum takeoff weight of 3150 kg. While car 2260 can carry 7 passengers along with 2 crew, LUH can carry 6 passengers. Clearly, car 2260 has better payload capacity due to its more powerful engine and coaxial rotor design. Car 2260 has an operational range of 600 km and service ceiling of 6200 meters. LUH has an operational range of 350 km with payload of 500 kg and ferry range of 500 km on internal fuel. It has service ceiling of 6500 meters. Overall, if we see car 2260 has slight advantage over LUH due to its coaxial rotor design and dual engine. However, there is another aspect that we should also consider apart from specifications and performance which is geopolitical interest. The Russian President Putin has personally promoted car 2260 to Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. If India decides to pull out of this deal, it will impact the Indo-Russian relationship. While we are talking about DOT and making helicopter in India, it is highly unlikely that Russia will share the critical technologies of coaxial rotor technology and gearbox. Also, the overall TOT promised and the use of indigenous contents is still a question mark and we can realize only after car 2260 enters production. Technically, we don't see any issues with car 2260. However, indigenous platforms must be priority for us. The money spent on an indigenous developed platform circulates inside the country and improves our economy and defense ecosystem. However, since we have massively delayed the procurement of LUH, it's wise to go with some numbers of car 2260 and good numbers of LUH. Ultimately, we cannot compromise when it comes to security of the country considering the increased threat at our borders where these helicopters are mostly needed. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.